Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about trusted IPs. My name is Sushan Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Before we talk about location, let me explain something about Azure AD conditional access location condition. So within the conditional access, you can find a condition called locations. This is where you can control how authorized users can access your cloud applications. The location condition of a conditional access policy enables you to tie access control settings to the network location of your users. Now let's look into locations. The Azure AD enables single sign-on to the devices, apps and settings from anywhere on the public internet. With the location condition, you can control access to your cloud apps based on the network location of a user. First, let's look into named location. With named locations, you can create logical grouping of IP address range or countries and regions. And you can access your named location in the manage section of the conditional access page. So I'm on my Azure portal. So if I exit out of the conditional access under security, Within conditional access, under manage, you can find named location. This is where you will be able to add new named location as well. So you can either add IP address range or countries or regions. So this is where you would be able to select multiple or a single country or a region. So when you select a new location, you can basically provide a name. This is a display name of name location. IP address is one or more IPv4 address range in CIDR format. So specifying an IPv6 address range is not supported at this moment. So if you select mark as trusted location, this enables a flag you can set for named location to indicate a trusted location. Typically, trusted locations are network areas that are controlled by your IT department. In addition to conditional access, Trusted name location are also used by Azure Identity Protection and Azure AD Security Reports to reduce false positives. Include unknown areas enable you to specify some IP address that are not mapped to a specific country or region. This option allows you to choose if these IP addresses should be included in the named location. And once you provide all the details, click on Create. Now let's look into trusted IPs. You can also configure IP address ranges representing your organization's local intranet in the multi-factor authentication service settings as well. So let me show you where you can find that. So under the conditional access, you can click on configure MFA trusted IPs. This takes you to the page where I was explaining the multi-factor authentication. This is where you would be able to provide the details. This feature enables you to configure up to 50 IP address ranges and these IP address ranges are in CIDR format. So if you have trusted IP configured, they show up on the MFA trusted IPs in the list of locations for the location condition. Now let's look into the location condition on conditional access. Let me go back to the portal. I'm going to select an existing conditional access policy to show you what is the location condition. I'm going to go under condition, click on location, and you would be able to find the location conditions. So we have three options, any location, all trusted location and selected location. By default, selecting any location causes a policy to be applied to all IP addresses, which means any address on the internet. This setting is not limited to IP address you have configured as named location. When you select any location, you can still exclude specific location from a policy. For example, you can apply a policy to all location except trusted location to set the scope to all location except the corporate network. Then we have all trusted locations. This option applies to all locations that have been marked as trusted location. The last one is selected locations. With this option, you can select one or more named location. For a policy with the setting to apply, a user need to connect from any of these selected locations. That concludes this episode. In the next lesson, we're going to look into hybrid identity. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.